Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Samantha Del Moro Dineros, and this is the work of Green Group. The impacts of lacking internet access on students' learning at City College of San Jose del Monte Bulacan. Our group members are Donato Verjoy, Diray Lian, De La Torre Daisy May, Dinara Samantha, Dinalo Erika, Curtis Alona, and lastly, Devera Margaret. Hello, my name is Lian Diray, and I am going to present the abstract. Students who do not have access to the internet at home encounters difficulties accomplishing schoolwork and connecting with instructors and peers. This research evaluated students' internet access connections capabilities and the availability of learning equipment in their household. The researchers used a simple random sampling with an internet survey as the primary data collection method. The respondents of this research are the college students of City College of San Jose del Monte for the academic year of 2022 to 2023. With a total of respondents of 40 students that participated in this research. Based on the results, 64% of the students answered that they have internet access at home, which helps them in their studies. Introduction Students used libraries to research their studies before technology became popular. Learners use not only the internet for browsing to help with their studies. People also use the internet to have efficient contact with each other instead of using telephones or sending mail. People can send a one press message to their loved ones as novel coronavirus diseases, or often known as COVID-19 spreads globally, every, everything also changed. In the early months of 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic led many higher education institutions around the world to stop conducting in-person teaching, close campus buildings, and displace staff and students for work and to learn study from home. Technology became more in demand when the pandemic hit because people required to stay at home to inquire about their safety. And during lockdown, students cannot attend in-person teaching, then Department of Education introduces uh, different modalities. It is or these are online distance learning and modular distance learning. Several students in the online learning program have encountered difficulties with their internet connection and for that reason learners cannot keep up with the lessons that students ought to be catching up on. Likewise, those pupils who enrolled in modular, modular distance learning, despite their decision to do so, lear learners still find it challenging to study. Moreover, few students face obstacles in doing their school activities and have a hard time communicating with their teachers and classmates because of a lack of access. As the learners turn to their gadgets you just to continue their studies, a reliable internet connection was necessary for students become productive. According to the article by Michigan State University entitled Poor Internet Connection Leaves Rural Students Behind, in 2020, stated that a slow internet network or limited access from homes can lead to low academic performance among students. Therefore, technology and the internet are essential nowadays. So, let's proceed to the research questions by the presenter, Erica Dinalo. The 
research questions. The aims of this research is to examine how students' learning is impact by a lack of internet connection. The internet has currently taken on a crucial role in the student's education. Without internet connectivity, learners are unable to communicate with their teachers and classmates, conduct research, or get online homework assistance. After conducting this research, it will provide solutions that can help the students at City College of San Cedro Monte become better academically. This research seeks to focus for the answer of the following questions. 1. Do you have internet access? 2. Do you often use the inter internet? 3. Does a lack of internet access have an impact on students' learning? 4. Does the internet help with the students' learning? 5. Is the internet important in your learning? As you can see, our research questions aim to answer why does lacking internet access are important to be a topic, and also the student struggles hard time every time their internet access are lost. We choose these questions to know the challenges that the students are facing every time they do not have a internet, and also what are the activities they're doing if they have a internet access. And as for the respondents to answer, the research questions they need to choose to always, sometimes, and never. My name is Stacy Maybe de la Torre, and now let's move on to review of related literature. This paper presented an, a collection of local and foreign papers and studies that researchers have found to be a reliable and solid foundation for this study. This part of the research reveals the related studies that led to and assisted the researchers in conducting this study. Local literature. The lack of internet access for students is inconvenient, especially nowadays where the risk of catching sickness because of the pandemic is one of our fundamental problems. Having internet access is convenient for students to gain knowledge from the internet. The internet develops into a dependable source of knowledge that could aid in expanding individuals' horizons. Students benefit from the internet since it offers knowledge that can help their academics and homework, yet one of the major issues students nowadays is a lack of connection. For several known reasons, this result is in an inability to finish homework, assignments, and activities. So, according to Basalo, lack of internet connection across the country is, in fact, one, one of the Philippines' unsolvable issues. It provides, it provides the lack of internet access on students' learning has an impact on their education, as well, especially after the Department of Education decides to stop requiring in-person instruction or face-to-face -face classes in the year 2020 to 2021 school year. Next, according to the study by Barot et al. says that enormous health catastrophe has hit the educational system upending its foundation. It is critical to have a detailed understanding of students' online learning experiences during COVID-19 pandemic. Students' home learning presented the most obstacle whereas technical literacy and competency pose the least amount of difficulty. In accordance to the study of Barot et al., with the advent of new normal, it can also be claimed that children, teenagers, and possibly teachers also have trouble using the internet. We all know that they have a tough time adjusting to the new learning environment, modality, and technical advancement based on their research. And lastly, more than half of the households in Philippines lack internet access and fixed mobile internet usage in the Philippines is low compared it compared to its Southeast Asian neighbors. According to the National Economic Development Authority and the World Bank's Philippines Digital Economy Report 2020, this shows that Philippines continues to experience a very significant digital divide. This gap has to play a part in ensuring that some people have less equal access to online services. According to the study of Myoten, they studied the rate of households in the Philippines who use internet. And they found out that Philippines is remarkably low rate usage of internet usage has a big impact in our daily life, especially on students' learning. That's all. Thank you. Let, let us now proceed to foreign literature, which will be discussed by Miss Samantha Dineros. Foreign literature. Using a smartphone to access the internet is ineffective for completing digital assignments and taking part in online classes. The connection is crucial for students who have struggled to complete their coursework for most of the pandemic. The internet is referred to as sea of information since it contains works that are not 
kept within libraries and bookstores, and topics that span all knowledge categories. Low-income students are already at disadvantage. It is shown that internet access helps most students when the mandatory distance learning is applied due to the pandemic. Every student experienced the struggle to learn when the pandemic came. So the usage of internet is very efficient and effective to the majority of students. A study by Wong entitled, Slow Internet is Creating an Obstacle to Students' Academic Success, stated that internet has become a vital component of our daily lives in this technologically advanced age. However, in some circumstances, the usage of the internet has turned into a barrier to advancement. The technology improves day by day until it became an important component in every individual's lives. The transformation from face-to-face -face learning to distance learning impacts the lives of every student in this generation. This transformation has impacted learners in a variety of ways and has turned academic for some students from certain groups into an awful experience. As more people share a single network, it might slow down the internet speed. The additional demand exacerbates the issues of internet connectivity. Over time, students became dependent to the internet. Same applies to teachers. The internet and different types of technologies helps the teachers to do their tasks successfully and efficiently. Fast internet speeds up the completion of workloads of both students and teachers. Having internet access is very convenient in both sites. For the methodology, in this research, we followed a quantitative approach. According to the article, Quantitative Research, Definition, Methods and Examples, Year 2021, Quantitative research is the process of collecting and analyzing numerical data. It can be used to find patterns and averages, can also make predictions, examine cause and effect relationships between variables, and generalize results from wider populations. This study attempts to determine the impact of lack of internet access among the students at City College of San Jose del Monte. For the instrument of the research, we modified a survey questionnaire for online survey. The online survey questionnaire has two parts. The first part includes the basic demographic profile of the respondents, while the second part evaluates the internet access. The respondents of our research are the college students of City College of San Jose del Monte for the first semester of academic year of 2022-2023 with a total population of 3,969 students. We use a simple random sampling collection of students. Simple random sampling is an example of probability sampling that rely on random selection, which makes it possible to draw accurate statistical inferences about the entire group. A total of 40 students respondent participated and took the online survey for a certain period. The researchers use a Google Forms to collect the data of the respondents. Data collected in a Google Form automatically imports into a Google Sheet. After gathering the data, we recorded all the information of the 40 students from the Google Sheet. The sample size needed by the researchers is 1% of the total population of college students in City College of San Jose del Monte. With the use of Microsoft Excel sheet, the formula is equals round close and open parentheses. It assigns numerical values for each student. Each value is sequential and has an equal chance of being selected. In this research, the first 39 items selected through the simple random sampling is included in the research to get the 1% of the total population of the students. The table shows the results of the survey from the first 39 students respondent that is randomly selected from the total number of students participated in the online survey. 
As we can see in the Table 1 are the information from the 39 student respondents participated in the survey. It includes 29 female and 10 male students. In the Table 2, the answer in each question is replaced with numerical value. It is done to easily get the total number of students and its percentage. Stated below is the answer and its numerical value. For always, it is replaced by number 1. For sometimes, it is number 2. And for never, it is replaced by number 3. Out of this, 64% of the students answer that they have internet access always, while 36% answer sometimes. For question number 2, 74% of the students respond said that they always use the internet, while the other 26% say sometimes. In question number 3, the percentage of the students that answers always is 67%. They believe that a lack of internet access has an impact in students' learning. On question number 4, 67% of the student answer says that internet always help in their learning, while the ter other 31% answer sometimes, and 3% answers that internet never help in their learning. 79% of the student answers always in question number 5, that internet is important in their learning. However, there's 18% that answer sometimes and the remaining 3% says that internet is not important in their learning. Researchers have found that lack of internet access or gradual internet connection is an immense problem in our country, especially among students. During this time of pandemic, especially when we were quarantined and unable to go to school, the internet is very practical and convenient. Students and also teachers only have gadgets and the internet for online courses. Students at City College San Jose del Monte really need internet access since it is often used mostly for their studies, research, or other school activities. Although many low-income students lack access to technology at home, students are unable to use the internet to learn new skills or advanced studies, social status. However, Learners are incapable of altering their lives without internet connection. For online classes and research, the vast majority of students in our society place a high value on having fast internet access at home. It is just not only for educational purposes, but children are amused and relieved boredom if they have access to the internet notable at home. Perhaps technology and the use of social media are popular in the present day. Learners with a lack of access find it very difficult to cope with lessons in students' online modality or even in the modular modality for video lectures on YouTube. Moreover, the impact of not having an internet connection on students' learning was analyzed by the researchers using a straightforward, simple, random sampling method, probability. The respondents to the survey used by researchers provide honest responses, which is also their problem. As a result, the researchers discovered how crucial it is for them to have access to the internet. Our ability to learn during the epidemic is significantly impacted by internet availability, which we depend on to log into our online classes or submit our assignments. Due to lack of time and engagement face-to-face -face with our teachers, where during weekdays we are using chat or FB to reach one another, which itself is spending internet connection. This is our recommendation. Number 1. Make a backup strategy if you can still have access to large files. Load them onto USB flash drive before the semester even starts. If a learner has difficulty accessing the information available on the internet, the teacher could perhaps mail students the flash drives or schedule a secure pickup time and place. Number 2. Look for hotspot but don't rely on them. Although hotspot may not be dependable or practical for extended periods, they might be useful for downloading hotspot which students can study at home. 
Number three, give learners offline access to files. Make a template that the student can use. It may consist of a graphic organizer and perhaps a list of questions that will direct their thoughts or on many sites. Students can mark a document for offline use or download it for offline usage. The learning management system will allow them to submit their complete work when they're done. Google Classroom or Canvas and etc.